subscribe to simplified biology channel and press the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded hello friends welcome to simplified biology today's topic is root modifications roots now roots are the descending parts of the plant that grow inside the soil or they are present underground they develop from the radical of the embryo they do not possess nodes and internodes and even buds the lateral roots develop endogenously means from deep inside the root that is they develop from the pericycle they possess root hairs that increase the surface area for absorption of water now the root cap protects the root tip as it moves deep into the soil in between the soil particles roots can be divided into two types the tap root system and the fibrous root system tap root system is mainly seen in dicots in this the primary root that develops from the radical enters deep into the soil it swells up and from which develop lateral roots so they are deep feeders that is they penetrate deep into the soil example of such root is mustard fibrous root system is seen in monocots in this case the primary root that develops from the radical is short lived and it is replaced by a number of roots developing from the lower part of the stem these are much branch roots that do not go deep into the soil they are surface feeders example of which is wheat now roots that develop from any part of the plant other than the radical are referred as adventitious roots now besides providing anchorage and absorption of water and minerals from the soil roots also perform many other functions first modification of tap root system modification of tap root for food means in this case the primary root developing from the radical swells up and stores food in it now first is the fusiform root now fusiform roots are spindle shaped means they are thick at the center and they taper or they are thinner on both sides best example of fusiform root is radish that is raphanus sativus next conical root now in the conical roots they are thicker at the upper end with sudden tapering downwards as the name shows they take the shape of a cone example carrot that is daucus carota next napiform root now napiform root are very much swollen and they show sudden tapering downwards example turnip that is brassica rapa 
and next is tuberous root means they show irregular swelling they don't have any fixed shape example mirabilis that is your four o'clock plant now, besides modification for food taproot also show other modifications like nodulated roots means in these roots nodules are found present on the primary roots secondary roots and its branches in these nodules is present the symbiotic bacteria rhizobium which helps in nitrogen fixation nodulated roots are found in leguminous plants plants belonging to family fabaceae that is your pea plant and another type of modification of tap root are the pneumatophores now new, these are the pneumatophores pneumatophores are respiratory roots seen in case of plants growing in marshy areas these roots are negatively geotropic that is they grow away from the gravity due to which they come out of the soil they have pores in it through which exchange of gases occur so pneumatophores are seen in case of plant growing in marshy area or the mangrove plants example rhizophora next is modification of adventitious roots now first modification of adventitious roots for storage of food they too get modified to store food the different types of adventitious root modification for food are first tuberous roots just like in tap root in this case these roots swell up they do not have any fixed shape the best example of which is sweet potato that is ipomia batatas next is fasciculated root means many tuberous roots growing together in a group or in a bunch are referred as fasciculated roots seen in case of asparagus and dahlia third nodulous roots means in this case the tip of the root gets swollen up or forms a nodule like structure example curcuma monoliform roots means the roots get swell up at intervals they are also referred as beaded roots example vitis that is grapes and last is annulated roots means the roots swell up in the form of rings example is ipecac which is a medicinal plant next modification of adventitious roots for support first are the prop roots now prop roots develop on the branches of trees and they grow vertically downwards giving support to the huge branches of the trees the best example of which is the banyan tree ficus bengalensis next stilt root now stilt root develop from the lower lower nodes of the stem growing obliquely downwards helping to the stem to stay erect they are seen in maize sugarcane next the climbing roots 
Climbing roots means these roots develop from the nodes by the help of which they help the plant to climb. Example, your piper beetle, that is beetle plant, pothos, that is money plant. And next, buttress roots. Now these are huge roots developing from the base of the stem growing in all direction, providing support to the plants or the trees. They appear to be the part of the stem but are actually the roots. Example, people. Next, modification of adventitious roots to perform special functions. First, assimilatory roots. In this, the roots become green in color, carrying out the function of photosynthesis or they carry out carbon dioxide assimilation. Example, trapa, that is water chestnut and tinospora. Respiratory roots. Now, respiratory roots are seen in aquatic plants like juicia. These are white spongy roots that float up above the level of water that help in exchange of gases. And last, the epiphytic roots. Now, epiphytic roots are seen in epiphytes like orchids. These are plants growing on branches of trees. They have special roots that hang, hang in the air by the help of which they absorb moisture from the atmosphere. Now these roots have the velamen tissue which helps to absorb moisture from the atmosphere. That's all for today. Please do like, subscribe and comment and also visit our website by clicking on the link given below. Thank you. Thank you for watching.